cool thing it al allows us to do is it defines an interesting property of scalar products. Before we talk about this, we need to first introduce a property of transpose. If A is an M by N matrix and X is um, an N by one vector, then there is an important property of the transpose operation. A times X, its transpose is equal to X transpose multiplying A transpose. You can check the dimensions and you'll see that it will all work out. And I'll leave it to you to verify that this is true. You can verify that by computing the left-hand side and then computing the right-hand side and see that they're going to equal to each other. And then you can go ahead and verify that in general for matrices A and B. And if A times B is well-defined, meaning the dimensions work out for the multiplication, then the transpose of A times B is going to be B transpose times A transpose. Basically, you strip off this transpose by putting the transpose um, first the second and then the first matrix and multiply them together. So you, you take this off, put it onto each other, put it, put it on each matrix, and, and flip the order of the multiplication. So here's the second property of the transpose operation, A, B transpose is equal to B transpose times A transpose. By the way, there are other two properties of the transpose operation that is kind of straightforward. I'm going to leave it to you to ver verify. A plus B transpose is equal to A transpose plus B transpose. And of course, because matrix addition is commutative, this is B transpose plus A transpose. And this is straightforward because matrix addition is um, entry-wise, and I'll leave it to you to verify this. The fourth property of transpose operation, um, for scalar R, R times A transpose, what is that equal to? Right, it is equal to R times A transpose because the scalar multiplication um, is entry-wise, and I'll leave it to you again to verify that this is true. So once we got this fact straight, Let's look at the cool thing about scalar products we can do with transpose. In addition to matrix A and vector X, let's add another vector Y that is of a dimension M by one. So this M equal to this M, this N equal to this N for the dimensions to match for a matrix multiplication. And now let me ask you, what is A times X transpose times Y? First of all, we recognize that this is the scalar product of the vector A times X. What's the dimension of this vector? Right, that's, that's the vector is M by one, which is the same dimension as vector Y, and therefore the scalar product is well defined. And because of this property that we just talked about, the transpose of A times X is X transpose times A transpose. And that multiplied to y is this guy. And because the associative law of still applies in matrix multiplication, we can multiply these two first. Now what is this expression? This is the scalar product of the vector x and the vector a transpose times y. Both are of dimension n by y. So the scalar product of a times x and y is equal to the scalar product of x and A transpose times Y. Basically, we have shifted this matrix A to the other side. So if we have two vectors, A, X, and Y, and X carries a matrix with it, and we want the scalar product of these two vectors, then we can shift this matrix to the vector Y by taking the transpose of that matrix. 